Hi, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the first look at the NCP302 network player, and I'm going to show you how to set it up and to get the best out of it. So let's take a look. The NCP302 has got some fantastic features, all based around its network capabilities. It has both 2.4 and 5 gig dual band Wi-Fi capability, and because of that, it gives you access to Google Cast, Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, and TuneIn with Bluetooth connectivity and a direct auxiliary in. As you can see across the top of the unit, it is a very minimalist system. The only thing to hand is the actual volume control and some basic functions. The layout of the rear of the 302 is very clean as well. There's an Ethernet connection if you want a direct RJ45 hard link. There's an on-off standby button, then a DC and auxiliary in. And the last thing you'll see on the back of the unit is a connect button. Now this is a nice simple way to connect your Bluetooth devices to allow direct streaming. But now it's time to actually set up the NCP302. And the first thing we need to do is you go to the relevant app store, whether it's Android or Apple, and download the new controller app. As you can see here, I've got my iPhone 7. I've downloaded the app and I'm now going to open it up. Now because this is the first time the setup has actually taken place. You need to select what the device is. There is only one, which is a wireless speaker. You then make that selection. It's going to ask you your method of connectivity. So here we're using the wireless connection. And then you just need to follow the on-screen prompts. So making sure that the power cord is connected and the unit's turned on. Then all you need to do is to follow the on-screen prompts. Like select the input, making sure it's on the wireless input press next and move on to the next screen and this is where it would tell you to use the auxiliary cable that's that blue cable that actually came in the box with the ncp302 now because i'm using an iphone 7 i'm having to use the little adapter lead that came in the box with my phone and that's just a simple case of plugging the blue cable into the adapter and then plugging the lightning connector into the bottom of the phone the other end of the blue cable plugs into the back of the NCP302 into the auxiliary in, as you can see here. Then when that's done and you're ready to move on, you now need to enter your password for your wireless network. Now when you're ready to press next, this will actually start the process of the app downloading all the information to the NCP302 via the blue lead that I've been talking about. As you can see here, the volume indicator on the phone, especially on the Apple phones, will flash up and disappear as it's changing the volumes depending on the relevant information that it needs to send. This can take a few minutes to do, so don't worry, but eventually it will transfer all the information from the app to the actual device itself. And there we go, it's done. All you need to do is unplug the lead and you're ready to go. Now all we have to do is actually set up the room. So as you can see, it's found the 302 and it's defaulted to call it the family room. That's actually fine for me. And now we can actually get down to controlling and using the 302 with the app. Now I've actually got two 302s set up. As you can see, the black and the white one. And I've marked one up for the kitchen and one up as the family room, as you saw earlier. Now, the actual app allows me to scroll through between these two rooms, essentially. And then I can actually control them individually or I can set them up as a group. Now, pressing the planet icon allows you to select between the net, the auxiliary or the Bluetooth. So I'll go to network. And now I'm going to select TuneIn, which is one of the streaming services. This particular service is actually free, whereas some of the other subscriptions are chargeable. Now the navigation actually around each of the subscriptions is very, very simple. You just go to the folders, you select your music, and that's it. Away you go. But the actual navigation and selection around to a particular radio station is really, really easy. So with the kitchen playing some music, what we can actually now do is go back to the main home page, select the other zone, because as you can see, we've got the Red Hot Chili Peppers playing. Now we can select the family room, go in and actually select another stream, whether that's Tidal, Deezer, Spotify, or again, another tune-in channel. As you can see here, you've got a login with your details, and I'll select another radio station from the tune-in catalog. So it's all very nice and simple and fluid to use. A nice simple volume controller on the bottom 
and now we have two zones playing two different things at different volumes at the same time hope you've enjoyed this video on the first look and how to set up the ncp302 network player from onkyo if you have please like the video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again soon many thanks take care bye bye